right now at 5.30. A community is still searching for answers after a 73-year-old man was hit and killed by a garbage truck yesterday. In here, but this, this has to be prevented and avoided. We, we don't want this incident to happen to anybody. And new at 5, we found out this is just the latest in a string of incidents with a company that just took over service in Orange County last year. Residents in Lake Nona are still reeling from news a well-liked neighbor died yesterday after the driver of a garbage truck backed over him. Just awful. In the last 24 hours, we've learned a utility worker was seriously injured in another crash involving this private hauler just a few weeks ago. Channel 9's Angela Jacobs joins us live now. Angela, that crash happened in the same community. Vanessa, today I met the homeowner who told me it all happened right in front of his house. He told me he was the one who ran out to help this utility worker and call 911, not the FCC driver who hit him. So for people in this community, two very serious incidents in such a short span of time continue to raise deep concerns about the conduct of these FCC drivers. Today, a quiet stretch of Pressbury Drive mourns the loss of James Lear, the 73-year-old who died Wednesday, struck by an FCC environmental garbage truck that backed over him while he was walking his dog. We didn't have to go far to find another accident report involving the drivers of this Orange County contractor. Just a mile away, troopers told us a 55-year-old lineman for OUC was working on this light pole in November. That's when an FCC driver collided with his bucket truck. Curtis Self is still hospitalized with serious injuries after he was thrown from that bucket, first hitting his vehicle and then the street below. This investigative diagram shows how Trooper said 37-year-old FCC driver D'Angelo Coates swiped the utility truck as he tried to pass along the narrow street. Three weeks later, neighbors showed us still visible marks on the pavement. I witnessed myself people sleeping dead sleep on those trucks for 25 minutes right in front across my, my, my house. It was shocking. Within two months of finalizing its 10-year, $100 million contract with Orange County, we began uncovering complaints about FCC environmental in other areas of the county that included missed pickups and property damage. A viewer sent this video of a speeding driver in Avalon Park. That driver was later fired. Trooper cited the driver in the crash that injured the utility worker for careless driving. The agency is still investigating the driver in the crash that led to Lear's death. There are some serious issues. Uh, these, these are big trucks. You need to be careful who's driving that truck. And after our story aired last night, FCC issued a statement expressing condolences to the Lear family and full cooperation in this investigation. However, executives did not respond to my questions today regarding this latest incident. In Lake Nona, Angela Jacobs, Channel 9 Eyewitness News.